First, though, cleaning up graffiti in Dayton is costing you money. That is why the police department is taking a new artistic approach to try and prevent it. In our top story, Robert Lowry is looking into how it works. Well, the city of Dayton spends about $70,000 a year cleaning up walls like this one that has already had graffiti covered on it. And actually, there's a new initiative, as you mentioned, that Dayton police and community organizations are using to take walls like this one that had graffiti on them and turn them into works of art. It's kind of sad and nasty. It makes you know people feel like they're living in a neighborhood that's even more run down than it really is. It's a typical sight driving down Xenia Avenue. Graffiti stained walls mark a few of the buildings, but one wall remains untouched. A mural that's showing how beautiful the area can be. People have asked, well, aren't you afraid that this, you know, really pretty artwork is going to get all trashed up again? And not really, because most graffiti artists, they don't want to mess up artwork and respectful of each other's artworks. That thought has even spread across the street to another wall. Once covered in graffiti, it's now a testament to imagination. Rain will wash it off and they'll put new artwork on there. The key thing is, is prevention and try to get these folks, because some folks are, are great artists. It's in the graffiti you see. And we want those folks to help us out because we want to cover up walls like this. It's even gotten the attention of the Dayton Police Department, putting out the call to all artists, including graffiti artists, to use their skills cleaning up communities. The department has created the East Dayton Graffiti Task Force, improving neighborhoods through problem solving. Information uh, is helpful to us to understand how to engage the community, use a beautification uh, project like this to reduce crime ultimately. And that's their whole goal is to, you know, the community, businesses, artists join together, cover up the bad graffiti and put art in its place. That's what it's all about. It's just a start to something they hope will clean the streets of Dayton, one brick canvas at a time. Now, just up the road on Nassau Street, there will be another mural painted on a wall that's already been plagued with graffiti. That will start on October 4th, and all the supplies are donated by volunteers or paid for by the officers themselves, and that's where they are asking the community for help. If you would like to be a, be a part of this, be an artist, help with that, donate supplies, or try and find any other way you can donate your time, we'll have the contacts for this department on this story on our website, WDTN.com. Reporting live in Dayton, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.